In this lecture, I'll show you how to create an account on the Blink app, which of course you first need to install. The first thing to do is to go to blink.io and scroll towards the bottom of the homepage and you'll see that the Blink app is available for Android and iOS phones. You can get them from the Google Play Store or for, from the App Store. So go over to the App Store or Google Play Store, depending on what device you are using, and search and install the Blink app. And eventually you'll have it on your phone and it will look like this. To create an account, you need to use the application itself. You can create an account from uh, the web interface or from the web page. So install the application and then open it and you are going to be greeted by the login screen or create new account screen. So uh, if you have created the Blink account before, then you can go ahead and log in. But if you don't have an account, tap on create new account and put in your email and password and uh, ensure that see down here You've got the choice for a public Blink server or a custom non-public private server. For now, we're going to select the public Blink server and, and in later sections, I'm going to show you how to install and then set this option to your own private server. So ensure that this says Blink and hit OK and then type in your preferred email and password. In my case, I already have a login. So just give me a second to type in my password. And there you go. That brings me to my account. The nice thing about Blink accounts is that all of your applications are stored on the server, not on your phone. So it's possible to move on to a new phone, put in your Blink credentials, and you have your applications right there without having to do any migration of your applications from one phone to the other. So that's all there is to it. Now that you have your application on your phone and you've logged in with your new account, you can go ahead to the next lecture where we are going to create our first um, Blink application running on an Arduino Nano 33 IoT.